got full palettes galore up in here. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We're here to chat about some brand new Young LA releases. Let's see what they have in store for us because I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it's really good. And I'm gonna go ahead and say this before the video even begins, best cargo pants I've ever tried, hands down. These pieces are dropping October 12th and do keep in mind my code Ashley G gives you an additional 15% off of your entire order. So let me know if you do use the code, helps you out, it also helps us out here on this channel as well. So thank you so much. Let's see what we got. Let's check out the Vital Flare pant. No relationship to Gymshark's Vital. When I first saw Vital, I was like, Vital? <laughs> What's the color palette look like? Good question. This palette is quintessential fall right here. We have, of course, your staple black, right? Pairs with everything, every collection should have a staple black. Let's move on to Let's move on to one of my favorites, Milk Chocolate. The perfect name for this specific shade. It literally is Milk freaking Chocolate. Classic Burgundy. I love this shade because not only is it great for October, but you can wear it all throughout November as well. Thanksgiving, nice red wine in hand, feeling toasty, reading a book. This is what this color reminds me of. And last but not least, Midnight Blue. This is such a beautiful navy blue. Perfect for those who aren't really into to all the warm tones that are associated with fall. This works well when you're looking for a color that's gonna work into the winter months. Every single color has that signature logo on the back. It's very plain text, very small, but it's a light gray on every single color. To match the new milk chocolate bra, I paired it with their brand new men's cozy thermal joggers. Bay got his own set too. It's like a waffle knit, love this brown color. The logo's embroidered, written in cursive. It is such a cozy fall fit with a pair of Uggs. These actually launch on October 10th, so keep an eye out for those. Let's take it from the top. We have a V waistband. It is a crossover. It flaps, it's not sewn together. Keep that in mind if you're doing any side bends, it might shimmy a little bit. I actually really like that the compression isn't too insane, so it's not gonna cinch in too much and create an unflattering look. I think they did a great job with this waistband compression. It's very light, low support throughout this entire legging pant. I don't know which one to call it because it's a legging and a pant, right? <laughs> Half of it's a legging. The flare is what makes it a pant. I'm gonna just call it a lant, all right, for short. It's a legging pant, lant. There's no front seam. Ew kind of rare these days when it comes to flares. Sometimes you're just like, oh my God, that's just so cute. And then you zoom into the picture, you're like, wait a minute, do I see a front seam? What is that? But it's okay, no front seam here. I really, really love the fact that they did not skimp on the back side. No, they did not. There's no scrunch bump. There's no additional help here. Let me just check the inside of me. Yeah, no, it's just a normal seam. <laughs> <laughs> this regular seam on the back is scrunch bum quality. If you want flares that are gonna really enhance your glutes, you're looking at it. You even have a very slight arch seam right above the glutes. Really just works perfectly in showing off every curve you got back there. What really helps give it its shape is that it's not compressive around the booty. But with that being said, I did work out, do some lightweight movements in these flares, just in case you're somebody who's like, like, okay, I wanna be active in these, maybe not necessarily do any CrossFit or anything intense, but I do plan to maybe go for a walk, wear it outside, and do normal everyday things. Totally, that's why I took it on the treadmill. You do see cellulite. It's a relatively thin legging. It's not too thin. It's not like alphaly amplify thin. There is some density to it. I feel a nice quality, a really nice stretch. The material's thick enough to be concealing, hence why it's pretty dang squat proof, but it's not thick enough where it's gonna conceal the cellulite. Sweat does show up in this legging, but it doesn't really bother me. I plan to wear it outside on a nice crisp cool day. I don't anticipate sweating in these. I hope not. I hate those hot fall days. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing pisses me off more than a hot fall day. You know, you when you wrap up in a sweater, you grab your pumpkin spice coffee and then it's 80 degrees. Yeah, I don't like you. Welcome to New Jersey right now. Gonna reiterate real quick, extremely squat proof. I think this is important, not just because if you plan to work out in it, but even just going around to pick up your dog's poo. I don't know. <laughs> That's the first thing that literally popped into my head. Working our way down, we have a pretty nice size flare. I know we're all thinking the same thing. Ah, shh. Is that too long on you? Just take a guess, just take a stab in the dark, would ya? Of course they are. Because if they weren't, then that would mean that these leggings are perfect. And Ash just doesn't live in a perfect world, does she? I don't always get what I want. 
Um, they're long. I was so bummed because once I like pulled them up and I was like, oh my God, glute aesthetic. Oh my God, they're so comfortable. And then I saw how long they were. I was like, ouch. However, I did wear the flares with this specific Nike, Nike, <laughs> Nike shoe. There's a gun. You guys rave about these Nike sneakers. I mean, more than any other sneaker that I own. I'm constantly getting questions on these. I don't remember the name off the top of my head, but there's like letters and numbers. You know how Nike does their thing. It's like 1900 Z9154. So I'll have these linked down below for you. Anyways, I made sure that I chose a relatively high platform sneaker to wear with these flares and they were still long on me. If these were just a half an inch shorter, I could have been okay wearing these sneakers. I'm just a half an inch too short. So needless to say, unfortunately, I think I'm gonna have to stick with wearing these flares with some serious wedges or heels, which uh, really limits me, doesn't it? So if you're five foot three and a half, five foot four, or taller, you guys, you're gonna rock these flares. You're gonna love them. My true size small was really good. If you're in between, I would suggest maybe sizing up only because unless you really like a snug waistband, I feel like sizing down might, might cause a cinch. These are very body fit, so I think that you'll be okay if you size up if you're in between. It's something I really wanna make known is that where these seams are placed, it doesn't feel tighter around those areas. I know with some leggings, you know, you gotta be careful. The seams really dig in, that's what you feel the most when wearing a pant or a legging. Not here. This doesn't even feel like there are seams. To pair with the Vital Flare pants, we have some matching sports bras. For something so simple and minimal looking, we've got a few things we need to chat about. First things first, we have a V neckline, but the under bust. That's where they got a little bit creative. There's a little bit of a swoop. You can see it's not just straight across. You have a slight little wave to the underbust. I'm seeing this trend a lot lately. I believe it was Buff Bunny's Inner Lights collection where I really noticed like, oh wow, they add some curvature to that sports bra. This one's a lot more subtle though. I almost didn't notice it until I really looked at myself in the mirror. I was like, is this bra curved underneath? It is. You do have removable bra pads and there's a little nip seam. The thing with nip seams, <laughs> for me anyway, is it gets tricky wearing shirts over top because it can look like your nipples hard. Let's be real. So I always prefer no nip seam, but if you're wearing this as just a sports bra, it adds a little something to the girls, right? No, not at all? Okay. We do have very thin adjustable straps. As you'll notice, I'm working out in this sports bra. It is extremely low support. I'm glad they added adjustments because I definitely needed to utilize them. Unless you're looking to have a boob, just make a run for it. I would avoid any high intense workouts with this. Now it did hold up when I did overhead dumbbell raises. Not gonna be doing hand cleans in these. I don't even do hand cleans anyway, who am I kidding? Nothing than just the basics, really. Now I would not have guessed it with this bra, but there is the time tiniest, teeniest, ittiest, bittiest, little baby band <laughs> that I've ever seen. I almost overlooked it. So just like the curve underneath, this band, they're there, but they're not. You almost got me, young LA, you almost got me. I do believe that this little tiny band was the reason why when I did overhead presses, this bra didn't just slide on up, okay? There is some support to this bra underneath. I'm thankful for that. For without that band, I don't think that I could work out in this at all. All right guys, so we just finished the workout part of this video. We have mirrors now, by the way, in our gym studio. I love it, but I'm also like forgetful. So I forget that you can literally see me right now, which is kind of cool, right? And Bay's in the background, yeah, he's doing something. We uh, tested out every single color. The flares are so good. Like I don't normally work out in flares, but they just move with my body. They felt really nice. The only thing is, is they're flares. So you have some extra, you know, baggage at the bottom. You could get caught on stuff, you know, I don't know. I got a little, I got a little weirded out in that treadmill. I just pictured the flare just getting tucked underneath the treadmill and I just, me flying back against the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Some final destination shit. But I was, I was good. Nothing bad happened to me yet. The bra, however, very low support. I like that it's adjustable. I think it's really flattering. Only issue I feel is that there's a lot of seams. Like the whole outline of this bra has seams everywhere. So I don't believe it's gonna be good for all day wear. If you're considering wearing this out traveling for the whole day, I think those seams are gonna get a little, just a little annoying after a while. I started feeling it myself. I was like, all right, they're getting a little bit scratchy. Big takeaway with this bra, I feel like I would much rather wear it to a gym than wear it with an outfit 
for all day wear. I'd rather just wear it for like an hour working out. The flares though, if you enjoy wearing flares to the gym, they're definitely gym girl friendly. I did see cellulite though, I was walking on the treadmill. It's thin fabric. It's breathable, it's gonna happen. Again, stuck with my true size small, very happy with the sizing. If you're in between, just like the flares, you might wanna consider sizing up rather than down, only because these seams, like I said before, could start to dig after a while, especially with this thin of a strap with a bunch of seams, rather up than down. Not gonna lie, I was really excited to review the travel joggers. I said it in the beginning of this video, and I will absolutely say it again, because I'm that confident that these are my new favorite cargos. The travel cargos are actually coming in a really pretty neutral palette as well. We have olive green, a beautiful rich dark brown, a super light gray, which I'm not gonna lie to you, this was actually one of my favorites and I didn't anticipate that. I thought the brown and the green were gonna be my favorites, but something about this light gray, it's different. You know, it's just, it's just different. And of course, your basic black. Not only do I think they were spot on with the seasonal color palette, that goes without saying. Forget the colors. Let's look at the damn thing. I'm gonna choose olive green for our chit chat. Starting up top. No, get this out of here. We need to look at this beauty for all that it is. Up top, we have a draw cord waistband. It is so comfortable. Does not dig, does not cinch, does not argue with me. They're just so relaxed, which is a big reason why I think they're called the travel cargo joggers, because you could wear this all day long. These are extremely lightweight. You even have a nice, decent stretch in them, so they move with your body. When I squat down and I go to a low to the flow squat, there's no restriction whatsoever. There's no part, even around the joints, where I feel like, mm, it's a little snug. Oh man, it just moves with me flawlessly. And on top of that, it doesn't dip in the back when I squat, which is very common with very stiff pants. These are not stiff. Like I said, extremely lightweight. If you're wearing this on a relatively warm fall day, you're gonna love these. They're high waist too, so you can easily wear a bodysuit underneath, the rib tees that I'm about to share with you in a second, or even a nice baggy hoodie with these. You can really play around with these cargos. Not to mention that you have a ton of different pockets. So you have two side pockets that are open, two cargo pockets on the back. They do not Velcro or seal. And then you have not one, but two more cargo style pockets down the leg. One is bigger than the other, gives you a little extra baggy room so you can put your phone and other things in it. It almost reminds me of a windbreaker material, but it doesn't swoosh that much when you walk. It's not a noisy cargo pant. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> when it's like, what the? And people can hear you down the hallway at school. Like, well, you know what is loud about these pants? A da booty. It made the peach pop. I appreciate that very much. It wasn't excessive to the point where it was obnoxious, okay? It's not like I could feel it running up my booty. I didn't feel like I had a wedgie, anything like that. It was just had a really nice lay to it. This material just, just had a nice graze over my bod. I also really love the fact that you can wear these wide leg or you can cinch it in with the toggle that they provide at the end here. I wear it with the toggle drawn in. I, I do like that cuffed around the ankle look, but I also need it because I'm short. If you remember from one of my previous Young LA videos, I reviewed their really beautiful satin cargo pants and they were too small on me. I had to size up. When I sat down, they were hanging off for dear life, like getting stretched out. It was just, it killed me because I really love those. These are so not like that. These are extremely true to size. If you're in between, you prefer a more tight fit. I feel like you could get away with sizing down only if you're in between though. Stick with your true size here. I actually had a gal DM me asking if these would be great for dancing, heck yeah. Because these are so thin and lightweight, they're also very breathable. So I think if you're getting down at a Zumba class or anything like that, these are great. And like I said, they're pretty flattering too. And in that same vein, these are very squat proof. So if you're breaking it down, girl, no worries. Ribbed luxury tees. Keyword, luxury. I could be wrong, but I have a feeling a lot of people are gonna sleep on these luxury rib tees. We have the classic black, this fog blue, dark slate gray, and of course, this very pretty beige khaki color. Now, I didn't think too much about these when I first saw them. I was like, okay, you know, cute little t-shirts, whatevs. When I got them in, I was still like, all right, cute tees, yeah, sure, whatevs, but then I put them on. So this is a full length tee, all right? It's not overly long where it's like you tuck it in, you don't know what to do with that excess material and it looks like you just got a bulge all around your cargo pants, what I'm talking about. So we have an angle cut long sleeve. It's like a cap sleeve. It does not dig underneath your armpits. 
it's very breathable. Your armpits are able to just breathe and just smell some good air. I don't know what I'm saying. You have a very fine ribbing all around this entire t-shirt. The big highlight is obviously this design right around the sleeves. It's almost a layered look, like as if they took the collar and they just added another couple right here. I feel like this flap design that they put here really adds a lot to this piece. It takes what would have been just a ribbed t-shirt and it really just elevated it. It brought it to life. It gave it some pizzazz and some style. I feel like out of all the pieces in today's video, this could be the most hit or miss for some only because I don't know, you really just have to love this design. In the words of Bay, it could look like backpack straps. Backpack, backpack. I really appreciate that stretch though. It is so body fit. It doesn't move when I raise my arms, which is very important to me. Believe it or not, I don't always wanna wear bodysuits when it comes to high-waisted jeans or cargo pants and anything like that. Sometimes I just am not in the mood to deal with bodysuits, the clasping, this and that. And I wanna just wear a normal t-shirt, but a lot of them just roll, they snap up, or they're way too long to tuck in. This is perfect for that. So if you're looking to pair with the cargos, 100%. Stuck with my true size small, very true to size. If you're in between, I might suggest sizing up only because it is super snug. I think they did right by this luxury tee, I do. Last but not least, let's talk about the washed long sleeves. We have here black, dark brown, olive green, and of course the fall classic brown. Do keep in mind all of these styles have a very, very subtle wash to them. You can specifically see them in these two colors. You see them much more than the dark brown and the black. These are oversized. They are mostly cotton based. This is my size small, and you can see in the footage, it's pretty dang oversized. If you're in between, obviously you can size down. I mean, look, I'm pretty much swimming in this. I love this brown color though, oh my God. I can picture this with some dark blue jeans. How about you? It's very simple, not a lot to it. They all have the same color embroidered text. It's not a pure white. There's like a tinge of yellow to it, but it really does work well with each of these shades. There's a very tiny amount of stretch in here. You can see that, right? <laughs> Yeah, they spiced up this long sleeve with a panel that runs from the wrist all the way up to the armpits and then down the side. So a really nice way to break up what would have been a very ordinary piece. The more I try Young LA, the more I'm realizing that they like to do that and I'm not complaining. I think they did a stellar job with this launch. I think that you guys are really gonna love and gravitate towards these pieces the way that I do because who doesn't wanna be comfortable and fashionable during the fall season? It's cozy season, dang it. I was trying to be critical with these pieces. I was trying to find things that I feel like needed improvement things that needed some work or just things that I just wish were different. Aside from the length on those flares, do I wish they came in a smaller length option? Yeah. And the extra seams that I feel like we could have done without in these bras. Other than that, I am 100% happy with how this drop went. I am very impressed by these pieces. So comment down below your thoughts. Are you looking to shop this launch? Are you gonna pass? Let me know. If you have any other questions that I did not touch base on, please let me know. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here and I will catch you in my next video.